Hey YouTube, this is Aditya and today we're going to talk about the Golden State Warriors and have they become the super team everyone thinks they are. With Kevin Durant joining the Golden State, they now have another option as a scorer that will make the NBA Finals really scary for any of the Eastern Conference teams. Now, assuming that the Cleveland Cavaliers will again become the Eastern Conference champions and will meet the Golden State in the NBA Finals, the main question that arises is that have the Golden State Warriors really become the super team that can win it all and have they made the necessary changes that were required to stop LeBron James and Kyrie Irving from lighting it up again in the NBA Finals this year? With the 73 win record, the Warriors had the best regular season in the NBA history. However, the playoffs were a completely different story. According to me, there were two flaws that cost the Warriors in the NBA Finals this year. Number 1 They lost the excellent rim protector in Andrew Bogut when he went out with the knee injury in game 5. And number 2, they lack physicality in general. I know you guys will say that the Warriors are changing the blueprint of the game. However, physicality and toughness will always be a major part of basketball. When Andrew Bogut went down with an injury, LeBron James and Kyrie Irving took over the series. Other than Green, the Warriors didn't have an answer defensively for either of them. Therefore, this off-season it was absolutely necessary for them to become more stronger physically, but instead, they became more slimmer and more thinner. Now, don't get me wrong. While hiring Kevin Durant was the best move any team could have made this off-season, but in the process, they had to let go of their major defensive anchors in Andrew Bogut and Harrison Barnes in order to provide enough salary cap for Durant. To replace Bogut, The Warriors brought Zaza Pachulia as their starting center who is kind of good but not as good as Bogut as a rim protector. According to Reese Helms of King James Gospel, Zaza Pachulia allowed a 52.2% field goal when defending the rim last season, while Bogut allowed only a 45.2%. Zaza's best season as a shot blocker was the 2005-2006 season. when he averaged 0.5 shots blocked per game while bogut averaged 1.6 shots blocked per game in the regular season and had 5 blocks in game 2 of the nba finals last year now pachulia can be a good role player for golden state but he's not the physical shot blocking center they needed rim protection will always be an issue next season Another problem the Warriors have created for themselves in the process of bringing Durant to the Bay Area is the lack of depth on the bench. What made the Warriors special last season was their incredible depth. They could play 10 to 11 players in a single game. However, with Azili going to the Trail Blazers and Spades going to the Clippers and others like Barbosa and Brandon Rush also leaving, that advantage will be gone next season. With so many issues and difficulties in their way, One may think that are the Warriors really as powerful as everyone thinks of them. However, in Golden State's defense, if you have Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant and Draymond Green on the court at the same time, ring protection may not even be as big a deal. So, tell me what do you guys think about the Warriors being a super team? Are they really the best team in the NBA history and how will this team affect LeBron James' legacy? Let me know in the comments. I'm Aditya Pandey signing off.